All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 2, Episode 8. Uh, very much we're looking forward to this episode. I'm going to get straight into it today because I'm very excited to watch the episode. And yeah, let's get right into the episode in 3, 2, 1. I'm surprised she didn't uh, originally come. Why would she not originally come? I like this girl's character. Makes me cringe. <laughs> hmm. Why? Because of Akita? Yeah. Seriously injured? What? <laughs> oh, she's so funny. Oh my god, last episode, guys. Last episode. That was... That that hit me. The scene between... Yuki and... Uh, Toru. Oh my god. My eyes were sweating. I really want something to be resolved. I want Akitu to just go away. I want him to be face to face with Toru and realize that this family is changing because of her. I want, I just want them to be all be happy. I want them all to be together. I want all of the Zodiacs to just live in one house with Toru. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> that would be like the best thing ever. I don't know if I've said, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but like, that's my end game. And I'm really conflicted. Who I ship Toru with, whether it's Kyo or Yuki, because, ugh, I don't know. She could probably sh be shipped with a lot of characters. These are just the main two that actually have real feelings for her. And, like, I was more in the way of shipping her with Kyo until last episode, and it was just like, and it, the whole thing with her and Yuki as a child as well. So conflicted. Ah, oh, need to make a poll or something. What everybody else thinks about it. This man, this oh, so brilliant. Oh, pancakes. Mm. Yeah. I can imagine if Akito was there, like, in the same house as them. Goddamn. He's so cool. He's such a cool looking character. He gives me the same vibe as like the millionaire detective main character, of which I I can't wait till that series back on. Because you know, I actually wanted to watch it. Yeah, calm down. It's not that serious, it's just it has to be. When did these why? Oh, it's so annoying that they just disregard Kyo. I mean, they don't. But, uh, Akito does. Oh. 
Oh, ginger pork. Mm. <laughs> oh, Toru. They're probably saving you from this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Why? Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Shigure, what's your what's your game? What are you trying to get out of this? Is he? Now I'm really interested in Corona. I thought for, apart from the horse we'd seen all the Zodiac. Oof. I wonder if Akito is the reason that Haru has his dark side. No. <laughs> yep, it's a sand mountain. <laughs> this is a sand camel. <laughs> sand mountain. <laughs> Aww. Oh, he's such a cute little bunny. Oh, he's so cute as a bunny. I love these two. They're such bros. Wow! <laughs> I love the smoke effect when they turn into uh, a zodiac. So cute. That's so nice to look at. Aww. Bros. I'm glad it's not just Toru that can make Yuki happy. But it's she is a big part of making him happy. It is a sun mountain. <laughs> we still need to see something between Kurino and Akisa. I think it's Akisa, the blonde girl. Oh I still need that to happen. It's been like three episodes now. Aw, cute. Yeah. Aw. 
Ja. Oh. Oh. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> I think he half was. Oh, dango. Mm, okay. Was that serious? <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't like a very serious situation where that like cause a big argument or something. It was just kind of like a joking situation. I was very confused though. I want you to meet Taro. Is this Izusu? Or Izusu? Is that her name? Oh, she's here. Did you walk all the way here? Goddamn. Okay. I would like if Kurino could meet Toru on his own without Akito being there. That'd be nice. Ah, yeah. He probably does, actually. Interesting, yeah. He is kind of, like, taking them away from Toru. That's not going to happen. No, you're not. Fuck you. Kurono's tall as hell. Or Akito's small. I don't know. What zodiac is he? Oh, I want nothing but happiness for Kurono. Please just be happy. Akito, please leave. Go. Never come back. Akito is such a prick. It looks better than it did. <laughs> Usually people put shells on top of sandcastles, not actual shells with animals in them, <laughs> or insects, or crustaceans, whatever they are. Because he's a cat, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow.
Oh, goodbye, hammock crop. <laughs> Well, if the person that got sacrificed willingly did it themselves to make the life of the cat easier in the future, maybe? Oh! <laughs> Rest in peace, castle. Rest in peace, hammer crop. Rest in peace, these two. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having a go at the ocean. Oh, so cute. Oh, God. Isuzu? I keep going to say Izuku, like from My Hero. <laughs> Isuzu. Isuzu, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as like every cat user has to have the bones of a previous cat of the previous cat user on them or something. I it's just one monk back in the past that made the sacrifice. Windy is Izusu gonna catch it? Is gonna be. Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> she clearly has hair and there's clothes. Easy to. How did you turn into... Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, That would have knocked her out. <laughs> toe man, always almost getting kicked in the face by a horse, and the first thing she does is try to help said horse. She literally She's too she's too good for this world. I know, right? <laughs> Voluptuous beauty. I like her eyes. Yeah. 
He's not bothered. That doesn't hurt him. Yuki is a changed man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Confident. Feels like a really long episode today, which is nice. Oh, she's adorable. She makes him feel all warm inside. Oh, I hate the show. I love this show. I hate this show. Who will she be with? I have no idea. Probably Yuki. But I see her with Kyo as well. The rooster. So that's Kurina? Kyo, he said, he said, Kyo. Bruh. Okay. So, the rooster's the only one left. Um, It still confuses me about the whole, like, the Zodi in the Zodiacs, there's a dragon. But apparently that's Hakito, I think his name is. And he's a... Seahorse? I don't know how that changed in translation to this or whatever, but um I guess they only went with real animals. I don't know. I don't really know how that works, but yeah, so the only zodiac left is the rooster, apparently. Um which at this time Toru believes is maybe Akito. I think that's what she believes, but Kurano is also a Zodiac, so she, he's probably the rooster, right? So what? What is what is Akito? Like he's the head of the family, basically. What I'm what I'm getting from this. So where does he belong in the Zodiacs, or where does he belong above the Zodiacs? Because I don't know the whole story and history behind Chinese Zodiacs. I'm not really wanting to look too into it because it might spoil me for the actual show. But it's very interesting. And I hope we find out that next episode either if Kurino is the rooster, which is it seems to be at this point. Or any other revolution as to who is who. And what Akito is wanting with Kyo. And how that's going to affect with Toru too. But I think Akito and Kyo are going to talk and realise Kyo is not... He is not the monster that Akito wants him to be or wants him to act. So he was, so he's pushed away from everybody else. And that Toru has changed him. Akito gets furious by this. And then he gets to meet face-to-face -face with Toru. Because I think Ak Akito is really... Like they said, he's got like a proper superiority complex going right now and I can see him kind of dissolving and getting angry and I love it, I absolutely love it, he deserves it he clearly deserves it but uh, yeah overall a very good episode and I hope you guys enjoyed it, I certainly did thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next week for Fruit Basket again and peace out